uh, NASCOM reports are the credible knowledge documents uh, that are followed by industry and academia. We are fortunate that NASTEC Kolkata is witnessing a very important report launch. Let me invite Mr. Nirupam Choudhury, Director NASCOM, along with him inviting on stage Nirmala Balakrishna, Deputy Director NASCOM, and Ms. Kritika Murugesan, Senior Director NASCOM. Uh, I would also invite uh, Mr. Manjit Nayak, uh, Director STPI, uh, and uh, I will also request dignitaries from KPMG to be on stage. Anuradha Chaturvedi, Head Talent Strategy Advisory, Shivani Chogle, uh, Senior Consultant KPMG, Gayatri Godbole, Consultant KPMG. So hi, we are just launching the report. This is a pre-launch. The entire report will be available in a week's time. Uh, request you to please go to our website to just access the same. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just uh, quickly run you through a presentation uh, sharing the details about this. So the title of the report, as you can see, is India, the tech talent nation, a skill first rep uh, approach. Uh, just to give you a gist about how the talent industry, the tech industry is actually, uh, we call this as we are the tech nation for the world. And why we do that is the tech industry currently is around 245 billion in terms of revenues. You have around 2 million people who are digitally skilled in the industry. You have uh, around 27,000 tech startups in the country. Some of the uh, other uh, statistics are, you know, in last year we added around 90 billion to the revenues and also you also added around 290,000 people but this year this could be a little low but the idea here is to show how the industry is one of the highest employers in the country and if you see in terms of the tech talent nation why we call it is we have the smallest gap in terms of digital talent dem demand supply gap which is at around 25 to 29 percent compared to other countries like USA UK China so we are having the lowest gap and if you see in terms of growth, in terms of employee addition, it has grown at around 8.5% annually. And also we, in the digital competitiveness uh, score, we stand at 64%, which is the highest in terms of all the BRIC nations. This is giving an idea about our digital talent gap that I said that we have the lowest gap if you see a 25 to 27 percent compared to other countries and this is plotted against the uh, rescalability index. Rescalability index is something where your current employee pool can be reskilled into digital uh, uh, skills and that is why we are actually having a low gap and this is something because of the different initiatives that company and other stakeholders are conducting regularly. Uh, this slide, sorry, how do I go back? Back, back is the red one, the, red one, the smaller one. Uh, yes. This, no? Yes. I'm going. Okay, yeah. so this slide is where I'm showing you the talent uh, pool. Actually, we have around the industry currently has around 5.4 million people of which 38% is digitally skilled. And this has been growing consistently, 27% annually. And going forward also, the core talent is something which we are trying, seeing a shift into digital talent pool, just showing the, you the growth in terms of the employee base. This is based on the survey that we said, the report that we have launched right now. The, we conducted a uh, survey from around August where we uh, actually gathered information from our member companies related to the digital skilling initiatives that they have conducted. And some of the key things that we uh, got from the survey is how the companies are focused on a skill first approach. So that's how they are building the skilling talent pool. And this is based on different uh, areas like you have learning 
learning platforms that they are uh, con uh, building for digital proficiency. You, they have uh, consistently built academic partnerships both in India and internationally for building their digital skills. You have um, the, uh, the pervasive digital skilling, that means niche skills, that is what companies are looking at, be it AI, blockchain, these are some of the skills that they are building currently. And also you have uh, uh, the skills which are for CSR, so that is something that we saw companies are focused on building for social impact. And so on the right side you have some of the metrics which the survey uh, through, uh, through in terms of you know the number of hours of learning that companies put in to skill their employee base. So over 100 plus hours are spent on digitally skilling their employee base. You have internal and external platforms for building the foundational digital skilling. You have things like academic partnership is something which companies continuously do with both global and Indian uh, academia. You also have the main technologies that they are building. Their pool is for 25 different technology areas, which is futuristic and new gen technologies. And you have things like the main skills, digital skills that are uh, rampant right now, or the top three skills belong to web and mobile development, cloud, AI, MLP, and uh, AI, ML and NLP and the last one is about how companies spend at least 40 hours of their employee pool works on uh, social impact skilling the people from other you know backward areas creating larger impact for the economy so you'll get more details in our report related to this uh, the last is about the, the digital demand supply gap that we are currently uh, not, not assessed. So currently we have a demand supply gap of around 25% and this is going to increase 2.8x to around 28% by 2030. And the companies and all the stakeholders will have to work hard to bridge this gap so that we uh, remain the uh, digital or the talent pool for the country. So this assessment is something which we worked on based on different parameters and last but not the least is how do we move forward or how do we bridge this gap so uh, like I said all these stakeholders need to ha have to have to play a different role so if you uh, be it you know reskilling your uh, current employee pool uh, having internships and apprenticeships for the students having courses which are actually very feasible and the new gen courses into built into the uh, cu curriculum uh, you have things like uh, including gender in inclusivity is something which is important which all uh, stakeholders are anyways doing but it needs to be strengthened further and also government government plays a very crucial role in this in terms of funding and different platforms that they are building we already have a future skills prime which is one of the key initiatives that we have worked in partnership with Meti, which is to skill the ta talent pool in India so these were some of the things which needs to be strengthened further if we have to bridge the gap and we know that talent is one of the main uh, pillars for the tech industry. So if we need to keep the momentum, we need to continuously build on this. So this report is basically around the digital skilling initiatives. We have added a lot of case studies. So once it's released, uh, you, it's, uh, it'll be free for everybody. You can scan this code and then uh, you know get the de uh, details of the report. I would like to thank KPMG for actually helping us build this report. And uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks. Thank you, ma'am.